Have you ever felt? Have you ever felt? I will reveal your limitations. If you're revealing my limitations, we might be here a while. What is going on ladies and gentlemen? My name is Twigger and I've got another League of Legends video for you and I am playing Jungle Lee Sin, but not just any Lee Sin. I am playing the God Fist himself. I bought this skin because it was absolutely epic looking. I love all the animations that are um, on this skin. And you know, it's one of those things that like, um, I don't necessarily play a lot of Lee Sin, but I find when a skin comes out that I really, really enjoy the look of, I'll buy it anyways, because I do enjoy playing different champions, and when I get to play Lee, I would like to have this skin. Um, please return that skin. <laughs> when you want to Lee, but opponent picks Lee. It's so disgusting. What? What? Um, <laughs> go buy a good Lee skin. Why are they hating on my skin? I'm so excited about it. These guys are taking away all of my, all of my fun. Oh, Ash. Okay, well, you, fuck you, Ash. You know, you're not going to get any ganks. Because this godly sin is going to spend all of his time ganking for the gangplank and the fizz. How does that feel? So, I did decide to play Lee. Wanted to play him for a while. Um, a couple people wanted me to play him as well. Um, if you guys are trying to learn Lee Sin and you think that you're going to get something from this, you're you're not. You're not. <laughs> it's, I am certainly just here to have fun, try to get some good ganks going. Um, I have managed to in the past couple games um, to pull off an insect maneuver. Um, and for those of you who don't know necessarily what an insect maneuver is, um, it's when you cue onto an enemy and then you put a ward down and then you safeguard to said ward um, and then you kick the enemy back into your team. Um, the simpler version of this is just when you, uh, cue onto somebody and then you safeguard, oh sorry, and then you just flash and kick them back. Um, it's the same maneuver, it's just, then you don't have to waste your flash, um, and it ends up working out better for you, but, um, I'm gonna try to pull off at least one of those this game, because I just want to test myself as Lee and see if I can pull off the great maneuvers of the great Lee Sim players out there. Um, luckily though, Artalia support, um, getting first blood in the bot lane, so, I never complain about our team getting first blood. Um, that's always going to be a good thing in my opinion. But um, going down their team, they've got a Zed top, a Vi jungle, a Yasuo mid, and then a Vayn Soraka bot lane. Versus our Gangplank top, Lee Sin mid, Fizz mid, uh, sorry, uh, Lee Sin jungle, Fizz mid, and then Talia Ash in the bot lane. Um, it's really kind of weird to be honest. Um, they, they're all AD. Um, and they have a very weird team comp. Like, the Vi might be, like, a little bit tanky um, in the kind of later goings of things, but not really in the early going. So, might be able to abuse that a little bit. Um, but the other thing is that I can abuse just building nothing but armor. Oh, this might not be good. Okay, well, I'm just gonna leave that one alone, because that was nearly gonna kill me. <laughs> Don't think it's gonna be worth my while to mess with that Yasuo anymore. Um, I'm trying to think here, what am I gonna build? I think no matter what, I'm gonna have to go for like a pretty early, um, what is it called? Uh, Dead Man's Plate, um, just because Dead Man's Plate is at least good on Lee Sin, and it also gives me the armor that I'm gonna need against their like full AD team. Um, I think that'll be good, and then I want to build probably Warrior's Enchantment because I do want that early damage, and then maybe into like a Black Cleaver or something like that. I've seen a lot of Lee Sin players do that. Um, so far, not a fantastic early game for me. Um, you know, it's it's going okay, I guess, but I really wish that I had been able to do something a little bit better against that, uh, that Yasuo. But, you know, we can't have it all. 
Okay, smite that bad boy away. I'm gonna come up here and just check to see if the scuttle crab is still available or if the Vi already took it. It is still available. Oh god. Okay. I really just want to take this. Just so that way the Vi doesn't get it. Um, I think Zed is probably gonna ward... Um, that top side brush because he probably thinks that I'm gonna come there But I kind of want to invade this Vi a little bit damn it. Oh God Oh, oh come on come on get away. Woo! okay. So I had to pop basically everything to get away from that one, which really, really sucked. Man, everybody's so aggressive on League today. What the fuck? <laughs> I wanted to try to get the invade on. I, I don't think I'm being a thirsty hoe, as you call it. Um, I thought I might have been able to counter jungle her a little bit because uh, Vi was actually pretty low. And I think that in the early goings of things, um, Lee Sin can do a decent job 1v1ing a Vi. Uh, whether or not I would win it is a good question, but... Luckily, I got the war jump over the wall. I flash. I got my Q onto a minion, um, and I managed to escape that one. It wasn't easy, and I had to burn pretty much everything that I had, which kind of sucks. But um, is it worth it? Hell's yeah! I'd rather survive. And I don't know why the Zed roamed down. Oh, well, they had a ward here, but I didn't come from that way. I came through in here. So yeah, not entirely sure why the Zed roamed down, but it was smart on his part because he definitely caught me out of position. Um, luckily, the. Uh, the Vi kind of used her Vault Breaker a little bit early, um, not when her team was there. So, I, I, I'm not going to complain about it. I just wish that I didn't have to burn my flash. Eh. Okay, we don't know where the bot lane is. Um, looks like the Sorak is right there. What's up, baby? Oh, come on. Ooh, and there it is. Okay, sweet. We got a kill. Um, I'm actually going to put the ward right here. Um, the main reason I'm putting the uh, control ward here is that I know that bot lane needs a ward here, and I knew that there was a ward that Soraka just placed in that brush. So my ward is already earning me money, which I really like. Um, if you can clear a ward with your own ward, um, kind of pays off for part of the ward, which I like. So it just made sense to put it there. Uh, helps the bot lane out a little bit. Even though I said I wasn't going to be ganking for the bot lane, you know... I'm a nice guy. I'm a nice jungler. I want my team to succeed, and I don't want them to be mad at me, even though they don't like my skin. <laughs> but the skin is the only reason I'll ever play Lee Sin. <laughs> because I actually, to be honest, I like playing him because I find that he's got a really high skill cap, and I think he's really enjoyable because of all the different things that you could do um, on Lee Sin. Um, it's not just kind of like one of those tanky junglers where you're really just doing nothing on them, just kind of standing there absorbing damage. You can do a lot as Lee Sin. Um, I'm kind of hoping that my team decides to... Are you guys gonna come and help here? Bot lane? Anytime. Okay, it looks like they might actually be coming here. I, re I really just want support. I always hate it when this happens and like the bot lane just like doesn't... Oh my god. Oh, that was their wood. The bot lane sometimes just doesn't respond at all. <laughs> and then you're just stuck there taking so much damage from the dragon and then you end up like either having the dragon stolen or you get killed by the enemy jungler But luckily we did manage to clean that one up, which is good So first dragon of the game go into the Lee Singer I'm gonna have to now that I have my uh, my poachers knife I'm gonna have to swap out my uh, my warding trinket and pick myself up a sweeper because the sweeper is going to be way better. Okay, Vi is in the bot side. That's a good thing to know, at least. Okay. I think I'm just going to try to clear these guys out. And then maybe go, like, up to the top lane? No, I don't think the Lee's going to be stupid enough to stay. I might just do uh, my Krug. Sorry, not my Krog, my, uh, my red buff. This would be a good idea. Take this so that way the Vi doesn't get it and that the Zed doesn't try to, like, steal it. And then we'll go back. We got 1,300 gold to work with, so it's kind of a decent time to go back. 
Eh. There we go. All right. Let's go B. And let's finish off my warrior. Oh, I can't finish off my warrior champion yet. Well, let's get a little bit of cooldown reduction at least. That's good enough. They did clear my control ward though, so I am going to pick this up and I'm also going to change this to this. There we go. Look at me go. Looks like I actually know what I'm doing. <laughs> Would Gunblade be good on Fizz? Um, man, that's a tricky one. Not overly. I mean, it's not bad, but I don't think it's the best thing that you can build on Fizz. Um, I don't know if I can make something happen on this Yasuo, but I feel like I have to because it's 39 to 75. Like, Fizz is kind of getting his ass kicked. There we go. So I just wanted to kick him because I knew that the uh, Fizz could kind of follow up um, with his playful trickster. So it just kind of made sense. And actually, it ended up working pretty well. So there we go. Kill for the Fizz. Hopefully, that'll uh, kind of start working towards getting him back into the lane because right now he is definitely losing that farm war. But looks like our team got the first turret in the bot lane. Not going to complain about that one. Um, I don't have my ulti, so I can't really... Huh. Oh, okay, so I had to flash for that one, which is annoying. Um, I didn't think I was going to need to flash, but I missed my Q. <laughs> That's the, uh, the standard I need to flash moment for mostly Sin players. <laughs> you have a kill, but you miss your Q. So, luckily, I just flashed. I didn't really think twice about it. Oh, man. That was one hell of a flash from the vein. But it looks like it didn't even matter because the gangplank was ready. Oh, I can't fight this. Well, I've got my ulti now. Probably not a smart idea for me to continue fighting this. Oh, definitely not a smart idea for me to continue fighting this. Holy shit, he did so much damage. Yeah, that dueling potential against Yasuo probably isn't great. Well, that was a mistake on my end. <laughs> what, what else can you say about that one? That was just, I got brutalized in the face by a windy bitch. I'm trying to think of what I want to get here now, though. I think the cooldown reduction boots are going to be better for me. Because I want my spells up as fast as possible, and I don't think I'm going to be building a lot of CDR, um, considering that I am going for that, like, Black Cleaver um, into the Dead Man's Plate kind of idea. Vi is right there. No, not my pink ward. Fuck off. Every time I put a pink down, it always gets taken out. It's like the way of the world. Okay, so it looks like Zed is starting to kind of pull ahead here. Which definitely isn't good, but it's one of those things that you kind of have to start like having a debate as when you're a jungler, is do you worry about trying to get somebody back in the game or you just snowball the shit out of one of the lanes? And right now, our bot lane has been playing so well, like they've just been dominating. So I feel like I kind of want them to... Well, this might not be good, because I missed my Q. Never mind, it's fine. <laughs> well, they still don't have this warded. Okay, let's get this red buff in here. No, God, they know. Or do they? I don't know what to do! <laughs> Oh god! No, I tried to get the ward over the wall. I didn't know that the goddamn Yasuo was coming. I'm such an idiot. I stayed for so long juggling this thing because it looked like like the vein kept walking away, making it look I had no idea that I had done the red buff or not. But me being my stupid cocky self, I was like, oh yeah, I'm fine. So luckily the Yasuo doesn't have an ultimate, so Botley might be able to do something here, but the Soraka's here. There's the gameplank ultimate. Are they gonna Man, this Yasuo, what the fuck are you? Yasuo's gonna get a double kill. Yeah, he is. God damn, he is huge. What the hell are we gonna do against that? 
Okay, so the couple good things that are happening here. I don't know why the Fizz is here. I think he's just trying to pick up a kill on the Soraka, but there's four people down here. So that's not ideal. So Fizz is now dead. The one thing that does work here is that Gangplank was just up top the entire time. I think he ended up getting a, a kill or an assist onto that Yasuo. Um, which, you know, that's not a bad thing. I think I might just try to take this. I'm strong enough to do this, right? Yeah, I can do this. I hope that I can sneak this without the Vayne really knowing about it. God knows if that's actually going to be the case or not, but I always have high hopes when I do things like this. But the Ocean Drake would be really good to have. Okay, there we go. Ocean Drake complete. So that gives us, what is it, a Cloud Drake and an Ocean Drake? Not the best ones to have. I really like an Infernal or a Mountain Drake. But, you know, in terms of just getting dragons and keeping it away from them, I will take it. Um, but I don't want to fight this goddamn Yasuo anymore. I'm kind of kind of tired of that. You know, you die once or twice to him, and that, that's about all I can handle. Lee Sin not known for taking a beating. And but I'm a god, right? I'm god fist. I'm not supposed to be taking a beating from this little windy asshole, this Yasuo. But here I am, just getting my ass kicked by him. So, I think I'm just going to try to farm up a little bit. I really want to hit level 11 to get level 2 of my ultimate. But I also want to try to get a gank up in the top side or maybe in the mid lane. Oh, they got the Rift Herald. Well, that's a thing that they can do. Okay. So, I think they probably gave it over to the Yasuo because he's already, you know, pretty much dumpstering us. Which would be a smart call. Did she take my goddamn red buff? Where are you? Really? No. Oh, I just missed it. <laughs> it's always good when you realize that um, the enemy jungler actually isn't that good. You're just really, really bad. <laughs> it's always a fun feeling. Okay, let's see if I can make something happen on this Yasuo. I don't think there is, though. Like, Jesus, he is already really fucking big. Oh, man. Oh. Okay. So I had to flash in on that one because while the uh, Yasuo was up in the air from the uh, the Fizz's uh, Chum the Waters, I really needed to get that uh, that Q and that uh, ulti... Oh, sorry, just the Q off and get my damage off. Because that was the only way that I was going to be able to have enough damage to kill him. Luckily, he didn't hit either of us with his Tornado. Later. Okay, so that one was simple. It was just a... Crap! I suck! Oh, I'm so bad. So bad. <laughs> or, uh, no, I didn't I didn't get it. I don't want to go in on this. <laughs> I really wanted to try for that... Uh, <laughs> that jump to the ward and then queue over. But, embarrassingly, it, it did not work. It was very ugly. I don't think that we can dive this guy. Right, that seems like the wrong idea. Yeah, I'm not going for it. I just feel like they're baiting us in. They want us to do this. Um, I don't know where the majority of their team is. So I think I'm just going to go... Oh, God. Whee! Okay, leave me alone. Zed's right there, guys. Trying to let them know that Zed is on his way. I don't know if Zed would... Okay, there. We found him. I don't know if Zed would have enough by himself to take down the bot lane. I don't think he does. Um, Fizz Blue. Because he's actually, you know, I'll give Fizz Blue because he's actually done a really good job of coming back in this game. Um, I feel as though he had a rough early going of things, but that uh, kill that we got on the Yasuo and then he roamed a couple times, um, which was really good. So he's now kind of back into this game. Um, he's 5-2, and two, so really good on him. Okay, there you go, buddy. All yours. I'm a good jungler. I help my team, and I give out the buffs. But right now, I'm sitting at 3-2-3. Three, three. It's not the b best score that I've ever had. It's not the worst, though. Um, I just feel like the, the two deaths that I have are me making kind of stupid judgment calls. <laughs> like like the, the idea to fight the Yasuo when I really shouldn't be fighting the Yasuo at all. But 
But, you know, sometimes you gotta make mistakes. Life gets messy. Um, I also didn't upgrade my sweeping lens. Well, they don't have this warded. Oh, I missed. <laughs> Son of a bitch! Uh-oh. Um, not entirely sure I can help you there, bud. Oh, this is super awkward. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna try to go be right here. Because the vein and the vi and everybody in between is kind of coming close to me. Oh, thank Jesus. Whew, okay, we got out of there scot-free. Okay, Black Cleaver, that's gonna be the next purchase. Can't believe we got out of that one. Um, definitely not a worthwhile trade. Um, who gives mid lane Herald? <laughs> well, if the Yasuo is playing like that, I would probably give my mid lane Herald too. Um, so we lost a couple people during that one, which wasn't ideal, and we didn't really pick anything up. So, kind of just gonna. Do you honestly think that we can. Shit, I suck! Oh god. Okay, man, I'm just gonna Gonna miss absolutely everything. Okay, try to chug a pot. Oh come on, that was so close. Nice! I'll take it! Okay, hey, I'm still alive! Oh, and we did it! All right, I jumped around a little bit, and that ended up panning out. And there we go, and there is the ace! Wow, holy crap, so everything actually panned out for us during that fight. Um, I don't feel like I really played that overly well, but apparently I played it well enough. <laughs> it was just kind of juking out people, and everybody was running back and forth, so... Fortunately enough, that was a, a pretty good fight, I've got to say. So, I think we're just going to try to focus on these turrets. Um, I think we can probably take this one down and then maybe go over to the uh, Cloud Drake. Yeah, that's exactly where we're going to go next. Okay, they've got no ward in here. I'm going to place a ward right there. Um, and now let's take down this Cloud Dragon. What up, buddy? I don't think I'm overly worried about the Vi stealing because... Well, you know, she actually could. It, it, uh, I never like these, like, 50-50 shots. And it kind of is a 50-50 shot. But I've got the Fizz here for support. There we go. And the one thing I do love about Lee Sin um, is that your ability to put your Q onto the target and then finish off your Sonic Wave with your Smite. Like, it just adds another, like, 300 damage to your Smite, which I always find really, really good in terms of, like, securing dragons. Similar things to, like, Elise using her Bite, like, right when you use your Smite, because it just means that even though we're the same level, Vi and I, well, actually, she's one level ahead now, if we had the same level of Smite, I can guarantee more damage um, just by using an ability with my Smite, um, rather than just relying on the Smite alone. So, at least that's my thought process. Whether or not it's actually accurate, that's a different question. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna clear these bad boys out. And then take down this red. I've gotta get uh, Baron warded, um, because they did sneak the Rift Herald before, and I know the Baron is a lot more tricky to take down than the, uh, than the Rift Herald. Oh, I didn't upgrade my Sweeper again. I gotta figure out how much it uh, takes to get the uh, the black cleaver finished because I've gotta go back and I gotta upgrade my sweeper. It's so bad of me. I don't know why I'm so damn bad at it, but I am. You know, you just gotta admit when you fuck up and <laughs> you're not a good league player. And I do that fairly frequently, actually. Okay. Oh, geez. That ain't good. So 950, I'm like 400 off. Oh, never mind, man. Maybe that is actually good. Okay, so the Zed used his ulti. I don't really think that I have enough to push these guys off. Yeah. I'm just going to let that one happen. 
<laughs> I'm not gonna fight those two. F that. I, I have things to live for. <laughs> but I can't believe that during a three on one, the Fizz actually managed to take out the Vi. That's pretty damn impressive. I'll give him that. Fizz is now really starting to scale into this later portion of the game. Me, on the other hand, I'm, you know, 4, 2, and 6. It's respectable. I think I've been where I've needed to be. I've secured objectives. But I think I'm going to take down this uh, Gromp, and then I'm going to uh, head back to finish off my Black Cleaver. And also to upgrade my damn sweeping to an Oracle. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. Good call, Twigger. Thanks, buddy. There we go. Nicely done. And you know what? Because I'm a good teammate, I'm going to buy my third control ward of the game. Because, because I'm a nice jungler. I like to help. But I feel at this point, I've got to be hanging out more towards the Baron pit. Um, especially with uh, the team that they have. They can melt Baron really fast. So, not overly looking forward to that. Oh, this is not good. Okay, I managed to make it out. That was a pretty huge kick, but it wasn't enough! God damn it, I can't believe that kick wasn't enough to kill the Soraka. Are you joking me? Was her ultimate enough to save her? I think I'm gonna set this up for a pretty good team fight because I got the Yasuo low as well with that kick. Nice, Ash ulti. Yeah, I think we're gonna be able to clean this one up. But I'm so aggravated that I didn't kill the Soraka with that. I think maybe it was either the redemption or maybe her ultimate that saved her there. But you know, all in all, I can't be mad at that because we really, really set that team fight up well because I ultied the Soraka, but I also hit the Yasuo. So, you know, I kept him kind of out of the fight. He got pretty low. So, yeah, it's just, you got to be angry at yourself that you don't calculate things right. <laughs> but okay, we're sitting at four, three, and seven. A little bit more of a support Lee Sin than I was expecting to be playing. Um, we could probably just go for the Baron once they take down the uh, inhibitor. Come on, boys and girls. Come on, guys. Okay, you guys might be overstaying just a little bit. Oh, God. Yep, yeah, this is definitely overstaying. Well, they got the Vi. Okay, I I'm a coming. I'm a coming. Oh, I'm so dead. <laughs> oh, well, that wasn't fantastic. I did get a kill onto the uh, the Soraka, but... Yeah, I don't think that was necessarily worth it. One kill for one kill. But I guess it just means that nobody's going to be doing anything right now. But Vayne is currently sitting at 4, 7, and 5. We might be able to clean up this Zed, though. Nice flash, and that's going to be a kill. So, once again, 4-4-2 four, four, um, in favor of our team. So, yeah, that was kind of worth it. But at least I killed the Soraka this time, right? That's, that's the difference between last fight and this fight, was at least I killed her. I'm fine with dying for it as long as I killed her. I think I kind of misplayed that, though. I don't know if I got condemned into the wall, but I kind of wanted to uh, put a ward over here and safeguard to it. But I guess maybe if I didn't, maybe I didn't have enough time or maybe I just screwed it up. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I'm going to go for a Banshee's Veil. No, I'm not going to go for a Banshee's Veil. Why would I do that? You know, maybe like a Randuin's. That actually sounds like a half-decent idea. Yeah, let's go for that. Because they just, they have so much freaking AD that I feel like it's necessary. Oh, the Ash Arrow, not going to connect though. Um, it is an Infernal Drake that's up in just a couple seconds here. But I'm scared that they're going to try to do the Baron. No, they're not. Okay. So I think I'm just going to run down and help my team with the Infernal. They might not even need me though. I think I'm really just coming down there as like a just in case the Vi's there. We can back off and I can smite it. But Vi is a higher level than I am. Woo! Smites are on point! Um, we could be looking towards a Baron. Because they do still have those super minions pushing into their base. 
And I think it wouldn't be a bad call, to be honest. As long as I don't waste my smite. Every single time I do this, like, I always end up, like, wasting my smite on a jungle camp or something like that. And that just, like, secures the enemy team, the Baron. Okay. Let's just see what they've got. Take down this ward. They do have the Scuttle Crab, so we can't really sneak this thing. Okay. Talia and Ash are both bot lane, so we can't... Okay. Alright. What is going on here, guys? <laughs> I'm kind of okay with all of this because my team is now just, like, pushing. Um, but now they're pushing. So maybe we should... Okay, still alive. Still alive! Actually, I think I played... We okay, Yasuo did die. Hey, I killed the Yasuo! Not entirely sure how, but I did. I'm just gonna... Nope, I'm coming. <laughs> just not paying attention, I guess, huh? <laughs> so we ended up winning this game, like... While they were all fighting us, it was just like the three of us, um, Gangplank and Fizz just pushed all the way down in and through the Nexus, got both of the Nexus turrets with the minion wave that they had, and now we just ended up cleaning up the Nexus itself, so definitely not worthwhile for the enemy team to be fighting me and the Ash and the Talia, and we even cleaned up them up there, so very well played by the enemy team. I think we played just a little bit better. I tried to do my best as Lee. I'm definitely not the best Lee, but um, I think I did all right in the early game, getting a couple of early pressure on different lanes and getting an early kill on the asshole to get the fizz back in the game but definitely got to give it up to my teammates who carried my ass through that game hopefully you guys all like this video thank you so much for liking commenting subscribing and sharing this video with your friends but most importantly thank you so much for watching my name is twigger and i will see you all in the next video